Hello to all and welcome back to Flying Dirty. Now if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love aviation topics, then subscribe so that you can help YouTube spread the freedom of general aviation to other viewers. It also helps this great community grow. In this video, you will see one of the main reasons that I chose to get the Cherokee 6. So my brother came to Denver to visit and then he got a resort in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Steamboat is about a three hour drive from my house. So I checked the weather conditions and then I decided to fly since flying would only take me about 50 minutes. Now if you're not familiar with Steamboat Springs, it is a very beautiful mountain ski town northwest of Denver. Now what made this flight interesting is that on our way back, my brother's wife wanted to come in and fly with us to Denver. Which brings me to why I bought the Cherokee 6, because it gives me a useful load of 1,582 pounds and I was able to bring her along and fill up five seats in the airplane and go over the Continental Divide without a problem. So come on board and let us get ready for takeoff. And Steamboat, good morning. Uh, Cherokee 6 is uh, taxiing to runway 32 via Alpha, Steamboat. And Steamboat, Cherokee 6 is taking runway 32. We'll be back taxiing on 32. Vamos. No. Oh. Hasta ahorita no. Okay. <laughs> and Steamboat, Cherokee is rolling on runway 32. Steamboat. Por aquí vamos. All right. Airspeed alive. Instruments are in the green. Esta está dormida. Esa siempre que siempre que se monta se duerme desde niña. La monto en el avión, prendo el avión y se duerme. I'm under here because the blanket's on top of the heater, so it's warm. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Te gusta? ¿Te dio miedo cuando despegamos? No. Pues un... Y se siente, ¿verdad? All right, so we are getting ready to cross the Continental Divide again. Uh, we don't have the camera down on the wing. Message. But uh, I'll try to record it here with my uh, handheld camera. All right, so there's the Continental Divide, all those snowy peaks that you see. We're gonna try to squeeze right in through here because this is the one with the lowest altitude. These peaks are about 12,000 or so feet. These are about 13 to 14,000. And we don't wanna climb up that high because of oxygen, so we wanna stay as low as possible. So 12,500 would be uh, will be a good altitude to cross those peaks and those peaks once you cross the peaks it drops very fast so it's not windy or anything like that all the systems and uh, eight, uh gauges are looking good and we have we have escape routes in both routes i mean to the uh, west or to the east 
So we're going to ske squeeze right through here because it's again the, the lower elevation in between the higher peaks. There's a uh, look right below us, you can see the terrain is rising. Traffic. Traffic over here? There's traffic? Oh yeah, there traffic. is traffic. Yep, there is traffic. There's another guy flying. Matter of fact, he's coming right from the channel we're going to go into. Uh-oh. Yep, and he is uh, 900 feet below us. So we got to keep an eye on him. We don't have a lot of room to maneuver since we have these peaks in front of us, but there is the guy. And he's kind of heading in our general direction, so let's keep an eye on him. See if we can spot him so he can stay clear. Looks like he is to our right. 900 feet above. He's over here somewhere. Let's look for an airplane over here. There we go. Right there. Huh? Está allá. Oh, I see him. Okay, he's okay. Let's keep an eye on him. Look how beautiful that is. The Continental Divide. Why is it called the Continental Divide if it's not dividing the continent? It's dividing the water, son. The water on this side goes to the Pacific Ocean, and the water on this side goes to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh. That's why they call it the Continental Divide. Okay. And there we go, we're over the peaks. Made it downtown again? Yeah? It says 1-6 Foxtrot, traffic 11 o'clock and about a mile eastbound, helicopter 6,500 indicated. Traffic 616 Foxtrot. Traffic inside, 6, 6 Flight shed 379, additional traffic just ahead and to right to Decathlon base to final 6,600 indicated for the parallel. You can start your base from right there, just square your base to final for 17 left traffic, we'll hold in position. This is a risky roger, that will square the base and uh, for 17 left, 360 is a risky. Chester 4, 3 Lima, fly straight out for one more mile, then southwest approved. Yeah, one more mile, then southwest approved. Pero ahí es donde está el aeropuerto donde volaban los drones. Oh. Check your 2, zero risky, expect your clearance in about one mile, traffic still holding in position. 2, zero risky, roger that. Stage 5, Papa Juliet, wind, calm, fly, runway heading, runway 17 left, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, 17 left, clear to takeoff, 525, Papa Juliet. Cherokee 2 zero, Whiskey, wind, calm, runway 17 left, clear to land. 17 left, clear to land, 360 Whiskey. Sets 4, Blue Lima, southwest approved. Southwest approved, 4 3 500. Sets 4, Blue Lima, start that southwest turn now, there's faster traffic behind you. All right, we're starting that turn now, 4-3, Lima. 4-5, Papa Juliet, traffic 1 o'clock and 2 miles southwest on 7,600 indicated. It's a safe mech and take over departure. To departure, get to 2 0 Whiskey, left turn Alpha 8, ground point 8. Left at Alpha 8, point 8, 360 Whiskey. Cyber Alpha Zulu, traffic all the new position, wind calm. Can you accept runway 28? Runway 28, clear to land, 8 Alpha Zulu. All right, one and one, wind calm, fly straight out, runway one, seven left, for Vertigo. Thank you for riding along on this flight. And I'm really glad that I chose the Cherokee 6 because it allows me to feel the six seats, although you have to be cautious up here with the density altitude. Thank you for subscribing. 
and being a part of this great community of aviators. Also, leave a comment or ask questions so we can help others as much as possible. So as always, take care, stay safe, and have a great day, my friends.